So this is the most important bit of exam technique. It's RTFQ. And RTFQ stands for read the question. So in this question here, so many of my students have given me a wonderful explanation of how a motor works. But when we read this question, it does not say the word motor wants. AC generators are used to generate electricity. Here's a diagram of an AC generator. Looks pretty similar to a motor question, but it's an AC generator. So they've talked about you put a current in this coil and that causes an interaction between the magnetic field and the current in the coil causing a force on the motor causing it to rotate but it's not it's a generator so we needed to talk about the gener the coil rotates in the magnetic field creates a current in the coil and the brushes and the slip rings they provide a constant connection it also says use all the labels in the diagram and explanation so if it says that and you haven't actually talked about slip rings and brushes bloom and well add it on that's the type of thing you need to do when you're checking through, reading through your answers. So this is something really important about the way questions are structured. We call this part the stem of the question. And then this is the first part. This is the second part. And these are like sub parts. So essentially, because this is written B, look at the sizes of the currents IB and IC in the table. We know this information is useful for this part and this part. So in this part, you need to look at the sizes of the currents to answer it. And in this part, you need to look at the sizes of the currents to answer it, because this subpart is part of that question B. So in general, basically, B is smaller than C. The base, this is for a transistor we're talking about here. Um, the base current is smaller than the collector current. Okay, essentially, the base is like the switch on off current it allows the conduction to go through this semiconductor here to come out the emitter. So because it said look at the size of the current, you had to say, explain this difference, small current is needed at the base IB to allow a large current to flow from IC to IE. So essentially, we need to get the size in there because we've been told to do it. When you've answered your question, be thinking back, have I used the detail in all the parts of the question that are relevant to this question here? I can understand why they've made this mistake, why people make this mistake, because they've done so many questions that will look really, really similar to this. And then the question will be, how do you get the motor to spin faster? And the answer will almost always be higher current and stronger magnetic field strength or more coils something like that. So they've just seen this, seen this question, read this a little bit, presumed it's the same type of question and banged down the most common answer. But you need to make sure, especially when you're checking through, have you answered this particular question, not just put down some relevant things or what you presume on looking at that, what the question is. I can understand why people have made those mistakes, but it's really important when you've got that time at the end of the exam to be reading over and thinking, have I done everything that the question has told me to do? It's such an important exam technique.